Hey guys! Mother's Day is right around the corner and I decided to make my mom a special homemade Mother's Day card using my personal Cricut cutter and Cricut craft room. I decided to record myself working in Cricut craft room to help others get some ideas or inspiration or maybe even make this program Cricut craft room a little simpler. I know that when I first started using it I was really confused and I had a hard time finding a tutorial that worked for me. So first, I'm going to start by taking the Disney Mickey and Friends cartridge and using the really simple Daisy image that comes with Daisy Duck. Um, you may notice that I always change the color of every new layer I start, and this is because I want to get an idea of what my things might look at look like before I cut them. What I'm doing here is taking the flower, dragging it to my mat, and then I'm starting another layer using the same daisy image but making it slightly smaller and layering it on top of the previous daisy. I'm going to do this another time for a total of three times and then I'm going to find a nice circle to add to the center of my flower. Next I'm going to add in a leaf because I like the idea of having some leaves near my flower. I am going to turn the bottom layer dark green and the top layer light green. And I'm going to have it right on top of one another and try to make it look as similar to real leaves as possible. Personally, I think it looks a little cartoonish, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Next, I'm going to go to my Nursery Rhymes cartridge and use the font that comes with this. I'm gonna have it write out the word mom. I'm choosing Nursery Rhymes because I really like this cartridge font, this cartridge's fonts best for the type of card I'm making. I like my lettering to be bold, so I'm using the shadow option, and I'm also going to make it a little bit bolder. Since this shadow version doesn't make a hole for the O, I'm going to make my own. If you want to do this, make sure you hit the weld so it'll cut out the other circle that's inside. Now I'm going to go to my calligraphy cartridge and see if I can find a more realistic leaf. I'm going to go back to the very first leaf layer, the dark green, and add in the leaf I want, and then put the second layer in light green. And now I'm ready to cut. It was really simple. If you're interested in seeing what the card for my mom looks like finished, here it is. I layered the daisies on top of one another, and then on top of the leaves, and then I decorated it further using some adhesive ribbon and some scrapbooking pens that I already had. I also used some paint pens and some glittery nail polish. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it might have helped you or given you some inspiration. Enjoy crafting. Bye.